Hello, Vinaka and Aloha, friends. This is uh, Teresi Bunindilo connecting in from Hilo in Hawaii. I'm presenting this uh, short presentation as part of the Talanoi Dr. T program, and I've uh, called this the Plate Tectonics Talano Session. This is a uh, short video to inform our listeners, particularly our young ones, on uh, the topic of plate tectonics. I will try and simplify it as much as I can. I hope you will enjoy it. The Pacific Ocean, children, as you all know, is the largest and deepest ocean on Earth. Did you know that it spans 60 million square miles from California to China? And in certain regions, it can go tens of thousands of feet below the surface of the water. Did you know it covers more than 30% of the Earth's surface? It is so large that it's even bigger than the landmass of all the world's continents combined. So in today's session, I will be talking about a topic that is called plate tectonics. And you might be wondering, what is Dr. T talking about? As you can see on this map, you can see that it has the word plate next to some of these big words. You can see the Eurasian plate, the North American plate, African plate, yeah, lots of plates. Can you see the Pacific plate? Yeah, I'm sure you can see it. Can you also see the Australian Indian plate yeah, on the western side covering Australia? Now, in simple terms, the discussion about plate and plate tectonics is a scientific theory that explains how major landforms on this earth are created from the earth's movements on the surface of the earth below the sea. In plate tectonics, the earth's outer layer is called lithosphere. Okay, so this is made out of crust and scientific word called the upper mantle. And that is what we're looking at right now. Okay, so many of the islands in the Pacific, we belong to the Pacific Plate. And also some other islands to the west of New Zealand, including Fiji, Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, and Papua New Guinea, we are on the other plate that you can see on the screen. So you can see here the summary of all the names of the plates on this earth. It's quite a lot of them, right? And can you see right up at the top, I mentioned the two words, crust and mantle. So the earth is made up of three layers. I did mention about the core, okay? And that is uh, more the internal part of the earth that we live on. I will discuss more in the next video about what is actually happening right inside the core of the earth. So hopefully by looking at this uh, picture here, we can be able to understand what is happening below the earth that I was talking about. Have you heard of the word earthquake? Yeah, so can you see this image here? See where all the uh, stars are? When the Pacific plate goes under the Australian plate on the left, there will be the movement that is called earthquakes or in scientific terms is called seismic activities, yeah? So whatever you see there, you can see that this is exactly what is happening in Tonga right now. So we can be able to understand, oh, this is happening below the sea, okay? So I'm hoping that by looking at these images, we can be able to understand what is happening around us. I'm sure some of you have heard of the word the Ring of Fire. Now the Ring of Fire is located in the Pacific Ocean Basin and these are a number of volcanoes that form a ring around the basin. 
which is where the name come from. Yes, yeah, so the Ring of Fire, so it goes all around from New Zealand, can you see? All the way to Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, Philippines, Japan, all the way up to the north, and then come down around North America and Latin America and down to South America. Yeah, all those that is in the yellow zone, that is the Ring of Fire. And did you know that there's a lot of earthquakes in these regions? And the Pacific Ocean contains, are you ready for this number? 75,000 volcanoes. And many of these volcanoes are under the sea. Isn't that amazing? And now when you look at this map, you'll see a word called Tonga Trench because we're focusing on Tonga and thinking of them at this time because of what is happening there. I hope that we can be able to watch this video and understand what is actually happening there. So the Tonga Trench children, as you can see here, is an uh, uh, undersea trench that is located in the Pacific Ocean on the southwestern side of the region. It is known to be the deepest trench in the southern hemisphere. But did you know what is the deepest on earth? It is actually the Mariana Trench, which is up in the northern part of the Pacific. The Tonga Trench here is connected all the way down to New Zealand, which is connected to what we call the Kermadec Trench. So the Tonga Trench, the depth is about 20,000 feet and the width is about 50 miles. So in equivalent to 20,000 feet, that's 6,000 miles and uh, the width is about 80 kilometers and it can reach to the depth of 35,702 feet. Yeah, so you can see um, some information here more about where the connection is from Tonga, uh, even from close to Samoa, and all the way down to Aotearoa. Okay? Um, so there's a lot of these uh, volcanic activities that happened around us. So this video is basically to make us aware that uh, there are volcanic activities and geological movements below the ocean that we cannot see. Um, the only way we know about it is through earthquakes. And of course, with the recent volcanic eruption on the two islands in uh, Tonga, it has made us be more aware of how connected we are. And uh, my last slide here again takes us all the way back to Tonga and to acknowledge how close the island of Niue is to Tonga. And also you can see Fiji to the left. And as you all know, with the process of uh, uh, the volcanic eruption yesterday, there was a uh, tsunami, yeah? And there was also the ashes that was uh, being thrown out of the volcano because all of these were coming from inside the volcano. And when it turns into ash, it moves around because the wind was blowing them to different islands. That is why you see most of the ashes because they are from these volcanoes. And the tsunami is due to the fact that there's water movements on the surface, but also below the ocean. Uh, because of the earthquakes, water is sucked in into those plates that we were talking about earlier. The water goes in, and then when it comes out, it pushes out from the trench, and then it moves everywhere. And unfortunately, in many cases, it goes to some of these islands where our brothers and sisters are from Tonga live. Also, our brothers and sisters in Lao on the island of Onelau and Watoa, because they are the two most closest islands to Tonga. So, I hope that this short video has enabled us to appreciate the geological history of the Pacific and so we can be able to understand what is happening around us. Until my next video, Nisa Mademana. Loloma from Dr. T in Hawaii. Ahoy ho, nak.